Hey, I don't know if you can see me through all the steam, but down Snoohick here, Thornapple Woodlands, and it's getting to be exciting time here with making maple syrup. Uh, the pan syrup level is getting low. We got a pretty strong boil, and I do not want to expose that pan. I don't want to expose the bottom of the pan. Look at that. Beautiful maple syrup. Getting to be crunch time here. The bubbles are getting smaller. And you don't want to walk away. And try not to add any more wood at this point. Hopefully you'll be able to watch me take that pan off. I don't think I'm quite ready to take off the pan. I gotta watch it here though. I'm gonna skim off a little sludge. Good, I'm getting off a little bit of sludge. Also, that tells me how deep the pan is, how deep the syrup is in the pan. I can gauge it by that spoon. is when you can really mess up. You don't want to let it get too low in the pan to expose the bottom of the pan at all. It smells really good too. It's just about an inch deep in there. See how the bubbles look different? To get smaller looking. That tells us it's getting really close. Plus we gotta get it out of the pan because it's getting too shallow in there. Getting close to the danger zone. But I'd rather have it in here than in the house. Yeah, I'd rather have it in this pan outside than in the house because this has a big area for steam to escape. And if I put it in a small pan in the house, I gotta wait and wait and wait for it to boil down a little bit more. It's a game at this point. Trying to let it go as shallow as I dare. That reduces the weight in the pan too when I lift it off. And Lifting off a hot pan full of hot syrup will make your heart go pitter-patter when you think about you just put five hours into boiling it. Looks good. Smells good. I'm feeling like that cat on the hot tin roof right now. I might let it go a little bit longer, but not much more. Here's where I'm going with it, right over here. And I'll bring you guys over to see how I get the syrup or almost syrup out of the pan and into my bucket. Well, I feel like I've been playing chicken with a pan of maple syrup here. Trying to let it go as low as I can in that pan without moving it. Kind of letting the fire go out so it's just a nice simmering boil going. Then I watch that level and we're down below an inch now. I think we're below half an inch, but it's nice and level, the pan is, so I'm not too worried about exposing the bottom of the pan at any point, which would scorch the pan and ruin it and ruin your syrup. But I'm ready to get this off the fire, so want to say a little prayer with me that I don't drop it. My glass is just fogged up. I'm going to walk away to defog the glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I need that valve on the other side, so I'm going to lift and turn. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, boy. It always makes me nervous doing this. Hope my gloves work. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I got it. Ooh, baby. 
Okay. I'm going to start by lifting up the bucket. Opening the valve. I need to lift that pan up so that the syrup can come out. There's so little in there. And I gotta see what I'm doing here so I don't mess anything up. There we go. There's a lot of ways you can mess up here. The hot syrup that you just spent put a lot of hours into. Looks like we're doing great so far, as long as my filter doesn't fall out of there. Looks like it's doing fine. We did it, folks. I'm going to close the valve. I'm going to pour out the last little bit from the pan. Woohoo! I think we did it. Put some water in that pan and clean out the inside. I don't clean out the outside of it till the end of the year, end of the season. But I'll put water in there yet while it's still hot. Run my fingers along the edges where it kind of crusts up along the edges. And then I'll run my fingers along the bottom too and get all that. Oh, it's kind of like a little bit of sugar sand. It's kind of not slimy, but a little bit slimy like. And I just want to have a good heat transfer the next time that we boil. Let me see what we got in here. There's quite a bit in there yet. I got to go in the house and put it on the stove and finish it.